Welcome to pre-math. In this video tutorial, we have got this big triangle as you can see in this figure. And inside this triangle, we got these three triangles and their area is 4, 10, and 5 along with the area of this quadrilateral which we're going to call it x and now we are going to find the area of this quadrilateral which is x so let's go ahead and get started with the solution to this interesting problem and in this video tutorial we are going to utilize this very powerful tool called the ladder theorem and once you have mastered this theorem, you can solve these kind of problems in just a few steps. So now let's go over this ladder theorem. As you can see in this figure, we got these two ladders. One is this one. The second one is this one. And they are crisscrossing each other. And then we, as a result, we're going to get these three triangles with area X. This is the second triangle Y and this third triangle Z. Then we are going to get this relationship 1 over T. T stands for total area of this whole triangle. That means this plus this plus this and plus this one as well plus 1 over y where y is just this base triangle equals to 1 over x plus y x plus y means this big triangle and plus 1 over y plus z where y plus z is this area and now we are going to solve this our given problem and I'm going to call this triangle as an x this middle triangle this base triangle i'm going to call y and this triangle i am going to call z then the total area of this big triangle is going to be this one x which is 4 plus y is 10 plus this z is 5 and this quadrilateral which is x so let me guys just go ahead and write down I'm going to put down 4 plus 10 plus 5 plus x. Now let's go ahead and simplify that thing that is going to give us x plus 19. And this is our total area of this triangle. And here's our ladder formula. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks 1 over t in our case. We figured out t is x plus 19 let's just put it down plus 19 plus 1 over y in our case is 10 equals to 1 over x plus y in our case x plus y is going to be 4 plus 10 so that's become 1 over 14 plus 1 over y plus z in our case y plus z is going to be 10 plus 5 so this is going to become 1 over 15 so let me go ahead and move this fraction 1 tenth on the other side so i'm going to write down 1 over x plus 19 equals to 1 over 14 plus 1 over 15 minus 1 over 10 now let's focus on these fraction on the right hand side i have just copied them down right up here and here with multiple steps i have just simplified them and our reduced simplified form turns out to be a 4 over 105 so i can write this thing 1 over x plus 19 equal to 4 divided by 1 over Five. Let's go ahead and solve for x and we're going to crisscross. We're going to cross multiply. So we are going to get 4 times x plus 76 equal to 105. 
So once we simplified, we got 4x equals to 29. We are going to divide both sides by 4 to isolate x. So x value turns out to be 29 over 4 are in terms of decimal. That's going to be 7.25. So that's the area of this quadrilateral turns out to be 7.25 square units. That's our final answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.